Hey, this is Scott. I'm here uh, to talk about landowner lists that are accessible from Office of Coastal Management. Some Excel foo and some mapping that you can do once you um, get the list into Excel with addresses. So we're using um, the Office of Coastal Management Sunrise system. <clears throat> Usually a download of PDF. We scrape that into Google Sheets or Excel, and then um, then we can make a map. Um, a lot of people ask for landowner information. It's in the awful Office of Coastal Management records if there's a coastal permit. People have to be notified for the purposes of, um, you know, they can do wetland mitigation on their property or they can waive it. Um, so it's one way, it's not landowner issues qua landowner issues, it's landowner issues qua wetlands on their property. Um, so here's a cut and paste of the Formosa transmission line record. And you can see all the correspondence for the past couple of months regarding the different landowners affected by that line. Um, I'm working from an older list from July. Uh, we downloaded that in July list and just pasted it. And when I've downloaded these PDFs and just click and drag control copy, control paste, oftentimes it ends up with this, you know, singular array where all the addresses are all on top of each other, um, like that. I think otherwise <clears throat> we've had it where there's a, P a table in the PDF and we've been able to use someone with a Macintosh who can cut and paste the table more directly into a table form like this. Whether your address is all in one field or if it's separated like this, you can download a CSV or save the Excel sheet as a CSV and then upload it into Google Maps like this to look at, you know, which landowners have requested mitigation on their property. In the River Parishes, it looks like this person from Tampa has, you know, uh, whereas these, these folks in St. James have objected to the mitigation proposal that was offered. <clears throat> you know, you can sort because you've got a table with that information in it, in this final September thing, you can, you know, do graphic, do graphics based on the different options in the field. Okay. This cutting, we haven't been successful using Adobe to take the tables from PDFs directly into Google Sheets. Maybe someone with a better version of Adobe can help us with that. The Macintosh seems to preserve the tabular nature of the information. But if you have, if you cut and paste it and it's just in this linear form like this, you see how I have it highlighted here. Um, I really just did a search for comma space LA space. And they gave me all of the city-state uh, records, right? And that's usually the last part of a unit of information that might take three rows, right? So even though everything is all in the same column, um, you kind of, you can see how every third or fourth row is a new bit of information. So what I've done is create two additional columns, one that just preserves the original order, <clears throat> two, which I put set number, you know, just goes one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, 
And uh, most of these have three pieces of information. Others have four. This one has five, right? Because you get, you don't have clear title or you have someone else care of the estate of yada, yada. Or just broke up a really long name into five, you know, three, three um, rows. So that has five pieces of information. But, you know, high, doing the control find to uh, find the city state zip, um, highlighting it, and then going through and labeling, you know, each set one through etc enables you to begin to sort the information until you can get it uh, like this um, so um, I guess with this I'm just yeah I guess I don't have a good documentation of how I got from this one column to here um but what do you do you you do this one two three one two three most of them are three a bunch of them are not here's one that's seven long right but once you you have to go through and insert insert some cells to make sure they're all labeled in sets but once you do that, you know, you can go through this. You have to do in Excel. That's why it's not documented here. You find all of the ones and move those cells over one column. Find all of the twos and move them over once, twice, the threes, one, twice, three times. And then you can, um, if you've got all this information, for example, so you've got the information so that it it's staggered like this. You can then delete these cells above it, and it shifts everything up the appropriate amount. So you end up with addresses all in a row. You have to do some additional text editing to separate city, state, and zip. because That's pretty simple because it's a pretty standard format. Um, there are typos. I think if you have typos in the state, those are, that's serious. <laughs> um, Google really hates that. So, um, you know, um, typos in the street name can also be a problem. Uh, any typos, I guess. So, but um, you can figure that out once you've downloaded this, once you get it into something that's close to recognizable, you can go and just download the CSV, boom. And then in your map, add layer, import, and import a CSV. So that's how I've taken the the records that of landowners that we have in Office of Coastal Management <clears throat> and made these prettier lists and prettier maps. All right, peace.